same generous people like I did now. I don't want to come back and see an artificial copy of a Pakistan that once used to be. I think we should always be aware that tourism drastically supports a country's economy and that tourism makes new jobs to millions of people available. But the problem with mass tourism is that in fact it does not really support the local community. Who benefits from it? It's the big companies, the chain hotels and restaurants. All the places where tourists easily have access to and mostly international big companies can provide that. And we all know that this automatically destroys a lot of things in a country. Loss of culture, pollution and destruction of the environment are just a few things of many to name. I'm very sure that tourism will boom in Pakistan soon and I think that's great if everyone looks after their own footprint. Whether it's the tourist, the hotel, the tourism agency or the local. I've said it before and it's been said a million times. Pakistan is so amazing because of its people. They are really the most generous and honest people I've ever met in my life. So to come back to the question, does deserve Pakistan the title best travel destination for next year? Yes, definitely. And I want everyone to see the real and beautiful Pakistan and experience the generosity of the Pakistani people like I had the chance. I just hope that Pakistan and its visitors will keep the travel spirit there, respect the people and keep the nature as beautiful as it is right now. I traveled to a few countries, but nobody opened their doors like this country did. I spoke to many travelers and nobody felt so welcomed like the ones who traveled here. <laughs>